Spooky University number 113, a failure you experienced. Talk about a failure you experienced. Oh, there's so many. Um, <laughs> uh, nothing's coming to mind specifically, though. I, I do know I failed a bunch of times in my life. Everybody really has, but uh, anyways. Okay, there was this one time, uh, this, this is a failure that wasn't actually my fault, so... And it'll be explained. Um, the failure was I was sort of replacing a part and it, it wasn't working. And the part wasn't working. And uh, the new one wasn't working. And I went through two of them before I realized that there was a uh, little bit too much stem on top of the part. And it was shorting out uh, on the, uh, the hood of the car. And that was causing it to blow the part, uh, to, uh, so it, it was shorting the part out and it was causing it to fail. Uh, so the third part was a charm because I got my uh, hacks out and cut off, or my uh, Dremel tool that is off and cut off a piece of the top. And it didn't touch the hood and it worked fine. So, yeah. Uh, but to start with, it was a complete fail because you're like, ah, oh, this isn't working. Uh, what did you learn that sometimes a replacement part isn't exactly correct, uh, especially from a cheap place? Uh, <laughs> did it change your perspective on anything? Uh, yes, that I, I never bought parts from that company again. So, um, does it serve a purpose today? No, I don't own a car. So, yeah. <laughs>